five, four, three, two, one. This is the Doctor bringing you set two of the finals, Flash versus Zero. And what exciting match game one was! Uh, except on this uh, today we have. Uh, set, uh, set two of Flash vs. Zero on La Mancha. We have Zero as the Brown Zerg at the 7 o'clock position, and we have Flash as the Terran. Not quite sure what color he is. The Teal Terran at the 1 o'clock position on the map La Mancha. Uh, exciting stuff in Game 1. Flash with a critical timing attack. He seems to be an expert at timing attacks when it comes to finals. So many times he's won with some sort of clever little build. And that was... Uh, he went for the Valkyrie build. Unfortunately, Zero not quite able to counter the Valkyries correctly with Scourge. And also, he was a bit slow on his sunken placement. If he had gotten his sunkens up in time, he would have been fine. Let's see what Zero is going to bring. This is cross-map positions for the two players, by the way. So, Zero is going to scout second. Uh, Flash sending out uh, SCV to get the barracks. Uh, nothing crazy coming from either player. I think Zero needs to remain calm and not be rattled by this. Flash, you know, he's been here before. He's uh, incredibly calm, uh, or rather, he's, he's seen this situation so many times that I think it's difficult to, uh, to psych him out or to phase him. The correct spelling, by the way, is F-A-Z-E, not P-H-A-S-E. Anyway, well, in this case, they're different words. But I digress. Uh, Zero looks like he's probably going for the 12 hatch again. Flash putting down his barracks first this time, not doing any 14 CC, although it worked out very well for him. In the finals, for some reason, his 14 CCs are killer. Uh, uh, people don't seem to go 9 pool against him. Uh, that's what counters the 14 CC. Anyway, here it seems like Zero is. Uh, sending out his drone scout as usual. He had an epic drone last game. Yeah, by the way, here's hoping for an epic five game series. Or uh, whatever the number of games the series may be. Uh, for epic games. You know, I would be satisfied with like one epic game or something like that. And those Koreans are not. Oh, I was saying they're not hiding their faces, but I was wrong. Well, not that guy, just that girl. Uh, anyway, it looks like Zero knows where Flash is. Uh, now he is sending his drones to see what Flash is doing. Zero had some excellent scouting last game. That Ling run by was great. Uh, he just needs to sort of work on his uh, fundamentals, if you would, to be absolutely safe. You know, put the sunkens up a little, sacrifice a bit of your economy to do that. You cannot run the risk against uh, of screwing up like that against someone like Flash. It'd be a shame to see how uh, your great build uh, your great build is just screwed by something that simple. By the way, uh, who know? Uh, in pr for the finals, they will have players can have practice partners outside of their team. So Flash may have very well practiced with Jadong uh, against Zero on this, but Zero will have access to players like uh, Fantasy or Fan uh, SKT1, of course, rivals of KT or. Uh, or who else? Lita. Well, Lita's okay. Light. Light is a solid Terran, especially Terran versus Zerg. He's excellent. So uh, I would argue Light might be the second or at least third best Terran versus Zerg player. Uh, Engineering Bay coming out for Flash. He's doing a fast plus one infantry, uh, plus one infantry attack upgrade. So he might be uh, going for putting some early pressure on with these uh, infantry forces. We'll see whether he goes for the Fort Barracks type build and really seriously pumps troops or not. Those Marines, uh, or rather that SCV getting chased around by that Zergling, Flash is uh, quite capable of keeping his uh, scouts alive for some time. Uh, as long as possible, of course, is what he wants. So let us see how Zero uh, plays in this game. I think the onus is really on Zero. Flash has demonstrated that he's got huge variety of TVZ builds, all just a little bit different. He can do anything. He can do mech, he can do infantry, SK Terran, late game tank type, uh, siege up turtle Terran style. He knows how to micro battle cruisers. Uh, there is pretty much nothing in the Terran arsenal that Flash doesn't know. It, but, uh, again, the rumor is that he's had some sort of hand injury. It's not a rumor, actually. He does have a hand injury. I've seen uh, videos of him where you know you can see his hand clearly, and it looks nasty. 
here's hoping that uh, he, after this series he takes some sort of break because I think he's pushing himself so hard now because he wants to tie Nada and, and be a legend. Uh, he's already pretty much a legend in my opinion. You don't make three back-to-back -back finals without, uh, it looks like he's putting down his third barracks, uh, three back-to-back -back finals without and winning four of them at that. I think that's sufficient, but Flash, you know, he's the type of person who constantly pushes himself uh, onward. Spire going down for zero here. Zero also looks like he's setting up to take his. Th uh, no, that's a f scout by Flash. Never mind. Uh, it's a bit difficult to tell on this map. The brown color <laughs> interferes, unfortunately, with the light color of the teal. And uh, basically, the brown on the mini map is is not helpful. Uh, brown background. Anyway, looks like Flash is soon to have Stim, and and those people are hiding their faces behind a Flash and a Golden Badge uh, fan. Good for them. Uh, looks like Flash is going, or rather, uh, Zero is going with some links there. I really need to slow down a bit here. Zero not really going to achieve anything in a sort of direct frontal assault like this. It's interesting to note, by the way, that Flash usually gets a few more medics these days. Uh, I guess that is a response to the uh, mutilist state uh, stim baiting. If you have a few more medics, you're not really going to mind stimming uh, basically all the time. Uh, so it looks like Zero is marauding around with some of these Lings. Uh, Lings alone is not going to get this done, I feel. Flash is going to uh, turtle up in his base. He's got five barracks, actually. A uh, massive uh, number of barracks just pumping troops all the time. Those Koreans uh, kind of hiding their faces. Zero sending some Lings, getting them killed. Not the best move there. I think Zero needs to pull back and move the Lings around and sort of sort of create some doubt there and for some reason uh, on the mini map Flash's color just changed but his no he's still teal guess it might just be the video looks like the mule is out for Jadong we have these links let's see whether Zero can do some sort of clever sandwich attack he needs more links in order to do some sort of ambush Flash with plus one upgrade finish on his marines I think engaging with Mulus alone is suicidal here what uh, Flash ne or rather what Zero needs to do is back up Alternatively, he could go for some sort of attack like this, but Flash, uh, he's seen it all. I don't think he's going to pull back his main force because of this diversionary mutilist attack. Uh, Zero needs either lurkers or a lot of lings at this point. He's got his hydralist stand up. Flash has so many infantry out. I don't think Zero's ready for this. I don't think he's practiced quite uh, again. Oh, losing two mutilists like that. Zero, ah, uh, not being the best uh, at right now. He needs to be on top of his game. He needs to have absolutely perfect mutilist control. He is doing his best to try to bait Flash to stim, but this is not going to work. Zero needs to adapt and realize that Flash is not going to uh, get fooled uh, by these mutilists anymore. He's not going to mind stimming constantly with all those medics. He's sending all sorts of reinforcements uh, down to uh, meet up with the infantry army. And Zero going in for massive attack. Lings and Mula's coming. A uh, reasonably good attack. He cleans up nearly all the infantry. Unfortunately, Flash with his second infantry force coming and wiping out all of Zero's Lings. Zero also losing quite a few Mula's there. And Zero knee is on the back foot here. He's got a few more uh, Mula's out. Uh, Flash still with a decent sized medic marine force. Zero needs to back up his forces a bit, I feel, and wait for lurkers or additional reinforcements. Uh, Zero, however, is persisting, attacking these infantry head on with Mulus, not even using a cliff or anything like that. I'm not sure whether that is wise or not. Well, if you want to attack, you should attack like four Marines now. But Flash has got reinforcements in, so I don't think Zero really should push in. He's trying to push in against this mass of infantry. Not the best move. These medic marines looks like they're about to stim and going and take out Zero's third base. That would be a crippling blow. Zero cannot afford to lose that. That lurker egg might even glitch. Flash and aim three marines to execute Zero's drone. That's the type of player that uh, Flash is. Zero with his lurker just critically holds, but Flash with such an economic use of uh, force. That's what he is known as. Uh, known so well for for sending just the right amount of units to get the job done and he did the damage you want to do at that third base executing quite a few drones flash transitioning to a mech already it seems like this series so far flash has always been one step ahead of zero he's uh, changing up his gameplay he, 
He's doing everything, whereas Zero so far has not shown any sort of clever or creative play. Uh, thus far, he hasn't shown either strategic genius or really tactical genius yet. And I fear this is not going to be enough to take on Flash, who is looking like a champion. Uh, those lurkers getting caught by Magmarines, Marines. These Mulists still coming in, but getting absolutely wiped out by these Magmarines. Marines. 1-1 one, one upgrade finished already, and I don't think Zero can hold this for much longer. Flash with Vultures out, that's what he's going to use. Vulture Mines in conjunction with Magmarines. Marines, I think that is a powerful combination. Uh, uh, I think Zero might be uh, panicking a little here. He's not quite in uh, perfect control of his units. Uh, you cannot just put four lurkers like that uh, in the middle there. Flash can flank these forces, or rather he can do a good spread and kill these lurkers if he has to. Flash with some more marines going in. Uh, vultures now to pick away at the uh, natural expansion, or rather at the expansion, 9 o'clock expansion of zero. Uh, those vultures have speed upgrade already. I don't think they have mines. Uh, surely they would have laid a few. But they would have mine soon. Uh, Zero has held, uh, has managed to hold out for now. Flash does have um, a massive army, but Zero now also has quite a few lurkers, some links and mulas. Uh, Zero going in for the attack. Uh, I'm not sure whether this is wise. Uh, he's managed to push Flash back a bit. But I, uh, Flash critically s preserves the bulk of his infantry. Zero looks like he might be trying to use these mulas to finish off the infantry. But Flash mashing up vultures now. Zero sending his lurkers unescorted, losing two rather needlessly, I think is a mistake to attack these infantry head on like this. And now, uh, vultures coming in! So many vultures coming into the natural! Zero has absolutely nothing here to defend, and all these drones are going to get massacred. Mines going down all over the place, and I fear this is probably GG, these mines... Uh, uh, killing the lings are coming. These vultures absolutely devastating. Flash, this game proving that he has uh, a, a, you know, really, really clever stuff here. These vultures absolutely devastating. As I was saying earlier, Flash is one of the greatest harassers of all times. Uh, he just knows exactly what to do to cause uh, damage and what sort of forces to send. Sometimes he's not the best at controlling you know, his field army. But he makes up for it, I think, with his uh, general game sense. Looks like Flash is pushing against these lurkers. This is what I mean. Lurkers without Ling or Defiler d support. They can, uh, I mean, they can still deal with the Marines, but they will take heavy casualties. Uh, Flash is not going to mind trading away even like 10 Marines for two or three lurkers here. He's got plenty of production. Zero really effectively down to one and a half bases at this point, possibly less. He's only getting his defilers mount now. I don't think he's going to be able to get defilers out in time, and I think this is going to be GG to Flash here. Zero not looking happy at all. And I know Zero is capable of better. Uh, Zero is... Uh, is capable, but he doesn't seem to be bringing his A game today. Yeah, Zero going in for another attack here. I don't think this is wise. Uh, he doesn't have anywhere near the forces required to engage Flash. Uh, in these circumstances, it would be best to keep your army sort of in a, a flank type position.